Hello, I'm Justin Tuomi with Alaska Energy Authority, and today I'm going to show you the different screens of the Shark 200 meter. This is the Shark 200 meter. Uh, most of AEA's plants have at least two of them, one for the station service and one for the bus totalizer meter. Um, you'll see these two arrows down here. This arrow here scrolls through the different parameters here, um, and then this one we'll use in a second. So right now, it's reading volts line to neutral, uh, and you have your A, B, and C phases here. Um, this meter's not hooked up to anything, so everything reads zero. Normally, most plants would read 277 across all three phases. We use the arrow button to go down, and now we're reading volts line to line, and typically that would be 480 across all three phases. Going down again, you'd have your different amps for each phase. And then here you would have your uh, watts. Um, typically this here would be lit up to indicate that it'd be kilowatts. Um, then on your B line you'd have your VARs and then on your C line you'd have your power factor. On this one we're typically just concerned with the C line here which would be your frequency. And then this one you have uh, your watt hours and again the kilowatt would be typically lit up eventually it will roll over and go to megawatts so you need to keep that in mind when you're taking your uh, recordings down um, and you can scroll through this so this one is received and this is delete uh, this is your net and this is your totalize thanks for watching our video on the shark 200 meter and if you have any questions leave them in the comments thanks